Jerem. Uh, this is my studio where I work every day. Um, when I was asked to make a work for Burning Man, I thought a lot about my practice uh, and the materials that I work with. And I work with uh, domestic objects like irons and pegs and brooms and mops. And the reason I work with these objects is because I like the fact that they're ordinary, that everyone can relate to them. And for me, these objects are quite uh, genderized. Um, they are associated with the female. Uh, so when I was asked to make a work for Burning Man, I thought about the theme, the multiverse, and also the question that was posed in the, in the brief around uh, pataphysics. Um, the idea behind an impossible solution or a solution to an impossible problem. And because I work with the wooden peg so much, I thought about the function of a peg. And the function is to hold things together. And the, if, you, if you strip away its function, it becomes something quite impossible. So I decided to make half a peg. I then also decided to scale it up. Like what happens when you monumentalize uh, an ordinary object. And so that's where the, the concept came from. Uh, in addition to making this impossible sculpture, I also decided to uh, make it out of uh, pipes. So essentially this object is made from negative shapes. We're making form out of unform. To make a work on this scale in conditions that are quite uh, unfamiliar to me, the heat, the wind, the, the temperatures, I've had to uh, surround myself with experts in, uh, in fields that are outside of my practice. So I've got an incredible team uh, working with me. The resurrection of the clothes peg is just so exciting to be involved in. To be working with a genius like Usha Sijara, to be working with engineers of such quality, we just enhance the artwork with every move. We've really been just so privileged to be a part of this team, to be able to do more than architecture, to turn architecture into art. For us, this is a dream. And this is Alma. Alma is one of the magicians slash architects involved in the incredible peg design. We've been helping Usha with all of the technical work. For us, the technical aspects are what bring the resurrection of the clothes peg to life. You know, having to really, really engage with lighting on a real level, making sure that it's a safe structure, something that can be engaged with without burning the user. We, we looked at things like transport. How does this thing pack away into a container? Where does it go next? There's so many questions and so many solutions that we constantly had to come up with that made this project really, really, really special. Hello, people. I'm uh, Rodney from the MRH Consulting Engineers. We were the appointed engineers on this uh, incredible project. Most people just think of engineering as uh, being boring and all about maths. It is a bit about that, but when we have the opportunity to design an incredible artistic work such as this one, it allows us to push the boundaries of uh, design and to give people that wow factor by looking at how, in this particular case, we've made it challenging, is the uh, asymmetrical support, which uh, results in eccentric loads having been transferred to the ground. And of course, the overall goal is to make sure that everything is safe. We've had the opportunity to work with incredible artist Usha who brought this project to us and we've had to turn her dreams into a reality along with taking budgetary constraints into account to make it uh, still an affordable project. Here's one of the engineers, my colleague Jason, who's just walked in. Hi everybody. Hi Joe. Hi. So tell me, have you had opportunity to uh, check the design? Well, I've had to check it multiple times. As you can see, it is quite a complicated project. Um, I probably went over the design about four or five times to, to make sure all the designs do conform to, to our SANS regulations. And uh, yeah, it's stable. We, we managed to do it. 
Good. So uh, to all you people out there, when you see the peg in the ground, enjoy it and uh, it will be so. Hello fellow burners. Ross Marco here from Open Air Engineering, working with the brilliant Usha on this unbelievable project of the resurrection of the peg. Unfortunately, we are unable to be joining everybody this year due to a worldwide pandemic. But we are so excited to bring this unbelievable project to life next year. Behind me, you can see all the parts that we are going to be using to manufacture this unbelievable art piece. A work of this nature and of this scale has so many players in the background. Uh, in addition to um, the team that I have working here in South Africa, there has also been support from uh, Nana Sao and the Sao Foundation uh, who have just been guiding this whole process and I just want to acknowledge their support uh, in the production and in the initiation of this piece. Uh, countless people have also contributed uh, towards the, the funding of this work uh, and, and continue to do so as we are still fundraising for the work. Uh, and I'm also grateful to be uh, one of the honoraria artists. It's a big privilege to be part of the, the core of, of Burning Man. So this will be my first Burning Man experience. It's a, it's a year delayed, but maybe that just builds the anticipation even more. Um, and most exciting is that I will be the first artist from Africa to have um, shown an artwork at Burning Man. Um, right now, where the world is, uh, with Black Lives Matter, um, with questioning colonial uh, heritage, it's important that the, the African voice is represented and I feel honoured to be the first artist and also the fact that I'm a female artist. And that's why I think in particular this work has special relevance and special meaning. It's important that this happens.